Hi everyone, welcome back to Frappe School. This is the fourth chapter in our customer support management course. Today, we will be discussing maintenance management. By the end of this chapter, you will understand the importance of maintenance, understand different types of maintenance, know how to generate a maintenance schedule and how to create maintenance visits. First, let's discuss a little about maintenance management and how it is useful. Maintenance management helps ensure that customers' products keep working without any breakdowns. Regular maintenance also extends product life. This helps maximize the return on investment for customers. There are different kinds of maintenance procedures. Corrective maintenance is done to fix a broken down product, whereas preventive maintenance is carried out to prevent breakdowns. A seller or manufacturer may also offer preventive maintenance for a certain period of time when a client purchases a product. This is referred to as an annual maintenance contract, that is AMC. It is important to record a maintenance schedule, assign support engineers and track maintenance activities conducted. All these records will enable an organization to generate trend reports and analyze activities for improvements. Let's see maintenance management in action in ERP next. First, let's create a sales order with the order type as maintenance. We can find the sales order list by navigating from home to the selling module and going to sales order under the selling section. Once we open a new sales order, we can see that the order type field, we can mark this as sales, maintenance or shopping cart. To create a sales order for maintenance service, we need to select the type as maintenance. Next, we can select a customer and add items that represent maintenance service to the items table along with any other details we may need to add. Then, we can save and submit this sales order. Once we save this order, we can create a maintenance schedule from it. A maintenance schedule shows all upcoming maintenance visits. We can go to the create button at the top and select maintenance schedule from the list. When the new maintenance schedule document opens, we can see that the customer name and items are already filled in using the information from the sales order. Once we open any item in the items table, we will be able to add a start date, the number of visits, and the periodicity of maintenance visits. We can set maintenance visits to weekly, monthly, quarterly, half yearly, yearly, or even at random. The end date will be automatically set according to the number of visits and periodicity specified. If we want to link a salesperson to this schedule, we can do that as well using the salesperson field. And we can even add an item serial number for reference. We can then save these details. The schedule for maintenance visits is generated automatically. Finally we can submit the maintenance schedule. From this schedule, we can directly create a maintenance visit as well using the create button and clicking on maintenance visit. Once we click on it, we will have to select the item and a date from the schedule and then create visit. Here, we can see that in the new maintenance visit document that the customer details are already pulled in. We will need to select a maintenance date and time 
and select a maintenance type as well. The completion status field helps us show if the visit is partially completed or fully completed. The purposes table lets us add details about the item, salesperson associated with this item and the item serial number if applicable. We will also need to add a description for the purpose of visit for this item. In the work done section, we will need to specify what exact work was done to the product for its maintenance. In the more information section, we can add any customer feedback for future reference. We can save this maintenance visit once we have added all important details. Once done, we can submit this. We can create a maintenance visit from the sales order of type maintenance. Similarly, we can create maintenance visits against warranty claims. The issue summary report gives an overview of the issues and their status. We can group issues based on customer, issue type, issue priority or support engineer wise. We can filter the report based on date range, status, priority, customer, project etc. Similarly, the issue analytics report is useful for analyzing the trends and patterns. The first response time for issues helps in analyzing the performance of the support team. This report shows the average time taken for the first response on a daily basis. Finally, we can analyze when most issues are reported via the support R distribution report. This will help us in making sure enough support engineers are available when most issues are created. This brings us to the end of the fourth chapter in our customer support management course. I hope this chapter helped you understand the importance and process of maintenance management in ERP Next. You can read more about ERP Next on docs.erpnext.com. Thank you.